From high atop the third floor at Laurel Street to soaring high in the dreams and aspirations of all, it's news you can trust with our award-wing anchors, John Smith and Jane Doe, and your favorite in the field anchors, Bear Care and Joseph Logan Jones. It's the Legacy of Excellence with WBFE News You Can Trust. We are not fake news. Hello, Bears. Good day, Bear Fee family. Welcome to the 2023-2024 school year. I'm John Smith. And I'm Jane Doe. Thanks for joining us for your most trusted news source. Fresh off the hills of leveling up, we are flying high this new school year with the new theme SOAR, which stands for Structuring Opportunities for Academic Rigor. Academic rigor may sound like working harder and more of an extreme workload, but it's the opposite. When done correctly, academic rigor is a teaching approach that helps children learn to think deeply, making meaning for themselves, and become aware of their own learning process. As a result, students gain a life skill that leads to both academic success and a lifelong love of learning. And how do we do that, John? Well, Jade, I'm glad you asked. It's simple. Students should gain a life skill that leads to academic success by simply setting goals for starters. Like, how can I make this a successful school year? Exactly. Mm. John, tell our viewing audience the importance of having a rigorous education or rigorous process of education. Absolutely. Indeed, there will be some challenges that arise. But knowing this, how do you as a student means to embrace the rigor to get a proper education? One may set goals such as being knowledgeable of classroom expectations, develop study habits, stay on top of homework and assignments. Rigor does not simply mean students receive hard work. Instead, it's the result of challenges students thinking in new and interesting ways. Growth mindset, something we are familiar with at BFE. Let's take a moment to revisit as we apply this mindset to a new school year. Hello, BFE family. My name is Joseph Logan Jones. And here is Benjamin Franklin Elementary Mathematics and Science Growth Mindset for the Classroom. So pay attention, I'm only going to say this once. M. I can learn from my mistakes. I. I can improve by working hard. In. I will never give up. D. I'm determined to do my best. Self-reflection will help me succeed. E. I can overcome challenges with effort.
right. T. I can train my brain for success. The BFE way. Now it's time for our favorite segment, In the Halls, with our In the Field anchor, Bear Care, to hear from the students themselves. Hello, Bear Care here with our In the Halls segment. As we get a pulse of what's really going on in the halls at BFE, and see just what students are setting as their goals for the year, and how they plan to soar. Now let's get into it, shall we? Hello, what is your name? Samaya. Hello, Samaya. If you can give your fellow classmates any kind of advice, what would it be? To be smart, to be kind, and to follow directions the first time. Hello, what is your name? Eddie. Hello, Eddie. If you can give your fellow classmates any kind of advice, what would it be? To pay attention in class and, and learn. What are your goals for the year? My goals for the year is get good grades and listen more in class. What is the theme for the year? Soaring. What does that mean to you? Being good and listening to the teacher? The Killian. If you can give your fellow classmates any kind of advice, what would it be? They need to um, focus and do their work. What is the theme for the year? Soaring. What does that mean to you? Well, they gotta, that means they gotta do their work and I gotta do my work and that's it for me. Hello, what is your name? My name is Nankui. Hello, Nankui. If what is the theme for the year? Sorry. What does that mean to you? I think it means to me to have achievements and goals. If you can give your classmates any kind of advice, what would it be? Um, I think I would tell my classmates to study more. What is your goal for the year? My goal for the year is to improve on my math. What is the theme for the year? Soaring. What does that mean to you? Um, soaring for me means to do better in things like classes. Hello, Jordan. What is your goals for the year? To get straight A's. If you can give your classmates any kind of advice, what would it be? Pay attention class. What is the theme for the year? Soaring. What does that mean to you? So, soaring means to pay, pay attention and like go up and reach your goals. Hello, what is your name? Zoe. If you can give your classmates any kind of advice, what would it be? The advice I would give them is to stop talking during some, during a class period because we usually never get to do fun things because they do. Yeah. So what are your goals for the year? My goal for the year is to get more A's. So what is the theme for the year? The theme is for rain. And what does that mean to you? Soaring means to fly high or get higher. Hello, what is your name? My name is Channing Jack. What is your goals for the year? To soar. And how are you going to achieve that? By doing my homework on time, paying attention in class and not talking to the teachers. What is your goals for the year? To get better scores in my league. And how are you going to achieve that goal of yours? By paying attention more, trying to expand my knowledge. So what are you going to do different than you did last year? Pay attention more. Hello, what is your name? Hayden Luckett. Wow, that is an amazing name. What are your goals for the year? Uh, Master Leap. And how are you going to do that? By stop talking in class and keep working hard. What are you going to do different than you did last year, Hayden? Get, get good grades. That is the amazing goal. What are you going to do different than you did last year, Shannon? I'm going to get a better leap score. And I ready scores. That is good. I hope you have an amazing day. And that's the end of the In the Hall segment. Back to you, Jane and John. And lastly, as we think of the new theme SOAR, Structuring Opportunities for Academic Rigor, let's focus on the word attitude, part of speech now. What does it mean when you hear the word attitude? 
Why is it important to start the year off with positive attitude? We think of academic rigor as a new means to learning. How does your attitude help reinforce the goal towards a successful school year through rigorous education? I'm Jane Doe. And I'm John Smith. Thanks for joining us as your most trusted BFE news source. As we leave you with an inside look for our first day back at school. I just want to come and say welcome back. I'm excited. I don't know how excited you are, but I'm very excited about this school year. We're going to have a great year because we are going to what? What does my shirt say? Oh. Oh. We are going to soar. We're providing you with high quality instruction to make sure you are prepared to go to what grade next year? Six. And then go where? Six. And keep going till you get to high school. And what comes after high school? College. That's where we're on our way. That's where we're on our way. Structuring opportunities for academic rigor, which means we're going to bring it up a notch for all of you. So we're going to soar. Last year we leveled what? We say level up. This year we're going even higher. Think of an eagle. An eagle soars through the sky. They fly real high. And that's what you guys are gonna do. Y'all gonna be eagles flying high. We're gonna soar. Who wants to tell them who I am? Come on, Channing. I'm the principal and Channing, what is the principal's name? Miss Logan. Mm -hmm. Logan Jones. Now, who wants to introduce this lady here? Dylan? Mm -hmm. um, she's the dean of And what is her name? Miss Hall. So, all of my new people, this is Miss Hall, your dean of students. And I am Miss Logan Jones, your principal. And we are here to assist you. So oh, I am Hawaii. here for you. I'm the dean of students. So, that means I am here for all of my students for whatever mm -hmm. you may need. I'm so happy that you guys are back, but guess what? Y'all played during the summer, had fun. A lot of y'all probably went swimming, travel, but now we're back where? At where? At school. At school. And we have a job to do. So your job is to be the best student ever. And in order to be the best student ever, there's some things you have to do. Hi, working hard. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Uh, hi, it's Aiden Minor. I just want to be on camera. We have a growth mindset here. So what does that mean? We learn from our what? Mistakes. And we keep trying no matter what. Please remain standing to recite our mission statement. We will excel academically and individually. Please recite our school creed. I will be kind and considerate. I will respect people and property. I will follow directions the first time and I will do my very best quality work. You may be seated. Thank you so much, Ms. Brown's homeroom students.